International Space Station. Stage one propulsion is on. Supersonic, obviously exceeding the speed of sound, and then max Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's from passing through an atmosphere that is still fairly thick while increasing speed dramatically. They throttle back slightly uh, just to be able to make sure that the vehicle can handle those loads, and then they'll accelerate back up. Uh, a beautiful shot there on screen. Uh, you can see the plume coming and off. Back of, and flight chill started. You can see the plume coming off of the, the base of that first stage where the nine Merlin 1 engines are firing. Uh, we heard the chill call for the vacuum engine to begin as well, uh, preparing that to take the second stage to the correct orbit. Coming up here in about 30 seconds, we're going to hear and see uh, a, a rapid succession of things happening. We're going to hear a call for Miko. That's the booster, the main engine cutoff. Uh, that's It's completing its, its job of getting the spacecraft out of the atmosphere. Uh, we'll also follow that up with the first stage being separated, following a parabolic trajectory back towards the drone ship. And then very shortly after that will be the second stage engine start. Uh, that's that Merlin vacuum engine we talked about. Miko one. Stage separation confirmed. There you see a beautiful shot, the first stage falling away. And back condition confirmed. And that MVAC ignition confirmed. There you see it on screen. Uh, you can see on the left side, you can kind of see that plume coming out, and you'll see that engine bell increasingly get more of that beautiful orange color to it uh, that says we're just increasing the heat and picking up the pace. Uh, the two camera angles you see here are on reverse sides of that engine, so you're seeing a single engine there just from opposite directions. As we continue on a nominal call, we heard a number of those during the, the uphill climb as well. Beautiful launch today, just stunning. And, and again, we, all the calls we've heard have been nominal up to this point. So all things looking great. There you see on the left-hand side of your screen, that first stage continuing on. Those hypersonic grid fins are now expanded. Uh, those won't be usable until they re-enter the atmosphere. Uh, obviously, without the atmosphere, those, that kind of directioning just isn't helpful. But once they enter the atmosphere, you'll see those begin to move, pitch, and roll uh, to be able to target that pinpoint landing on, of course, I still love you, the drone ship. We've got less than five minutes till we expect nominal. that to happen. Stage two propulsion is nominal. A couple more great nominal call, call outs there. Uh, so just previewing what's ahead at about six and a half minutes into flight, we're going to have the entry burn for the first stage headed towards that drone ship. Just Acquisition of signal in Bermuda. So that's just a communication call. Uh, you, you might hear more of those as we go through the process today. That's just a matter of there are ground stations across the world, literally, uh, that help pick up and track the vehicle as we send telemetry data back to Earth for the mission for the controllers to be able to monitor progress and ensure everything is proceeding nominally. And, and really noteworthy that booster uh, just launched its fourth payload. Uh, into space. And one of those uh, actually was more significant than a payload. Bob and Doug earlier this year, that, that same booster launched two humans into space. Uh, so really, really great, amazing accomplishment that uh, that uh, the same booster has been reused uh, a Trajectory fourth time. Nominal. After we get that entry burn, uh, a couple minutes later, we will have the second stage engine cutoff. Uh, that puts us at having a, a roughly six minute burn of the second stage. And then at almost the exact same instant, we're expecting 
the uh, the first stage landing to occur, and then a few minutes more, we'll see the separation of the dragon from that second stage. We've we've seen some beautiful shots this morning uh, in preparation for launch, um, so hopefully we'll get to bring you that live. Uh, again, beautiful to see that dragon just separate what feels like ever so gently at a at a cool 17,500 miles an hour. Oh yeah, just a just a nice easy coast, right? Um you know what's really what's really exciting to look back and and realize, you know, the D Dragon is on its way to the space station, uh the first of nine cargo resupply missions under this brand new contract, but it just so happens on this day in history, 22 years ago, began the assembly of the International Space Station. Trajectory nominal obviously an incredible international collaboration mm -hmm. uh, and really we're we're kind of ushering in the era of having commercial companies contribute to that collaboration and so what a what a privilege it is to be a part of this portion of history yes. of the space station and our exploration not only to low earth orbit but also into deep space yeah so 22 years later uh, from the the, be the very beginnings of the international space station now uh, they're having to move spacecraft around to open up ports for uh, all the new visiting vehicles. So it's really, really an amazing achievement, a uh, result of the cooperation between so many nations, uh, government, and industry together. Yeah, Marie, pleasure to have you with me. It's been fun. Stage one, entry burn startup. We're going we're gonna to call it a day for us here, but we're going to stay with the rest of the process and send it now back to SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne. Uh, Shiva, congratulations to you and the, the SpaceX team. They're on a great launch. Looking forward to the next few milestones with you. Yeah, thanks, guys. Um, so nominal. actually, if we could go back to the shot of the, the vehicle, we're actually just in the middle of our entry burn. Um, that's where we ignite three of the Merlin-1D engines, so we're slowing down the first stage as we come into stage contact one, with the atmosphere. Down. Just shut that down, so that burn lasting about 30 seconds. From here on out, um, you can actually see the attitude control thrusters there firing. That's those little plumes of white gas. And then the grid fins, those as we get more and more atmospheric pressure on the vehicle will guide the first stage towards our drone ship named, of course, I Still Love You. Uh, taking a look at the data for the second stage, Dragon is running right down the middle of the uh, projected orbit on the second stage, going for a roughly circular orbit. Uh, and then about T plus 11 minutes, uh, 11 and a half minutes into flight, we'll expect to see Dragon separation. Uh, at this point, next event coming up, uh, so on our screen right now is our shots of the second stage, but next event coming up for the first stage, stage is one, entry uh, Falcon flying. 9's landing burn. That's about 30 seconds away. Um, we'll ignite just a single center Merlin engine, then shortly after that, deploy the landing legs, and then attempt a soft touchdown on our drone ship, uh, named, of course, I Still Love You, stationed out in the Atlantic. 10 seconds out to our landing burn on the first stage. Second stage continuing to look nominal. Stage one, landing burn startup. Call it there from the prop team. So this burn expected to last about 25 seconds. In the middle of this, we'll also have shutdown of the second stage's uh, MVAC engine. Coming up uh, just a few seconds from now. Stage one, landing leg deploy. So landing leg deployment on the first stage, hopefully stick the landing, okay. shot from our drone ship. Stage one. And there is the fourth successful landing of this Falcon 9. Uh, exciting news as well. This is the hundredth successful flight 